Morbius is directed by Daniel Espinoza and stars Jared Leto, Matt Smith, and Adria Arjona. Biochemist Michael Morbius tries to cure himself of his rare blood disease, but he adversely infects himself with a form of vampirism instead. Believe it or not, I have been anticipating this movie for the longest time. For the record, I know nothing about the character of Morbius except for the fact that he is a Spider-Man villain. Other than that, my knowledge of the character is zero. And considering that I'm not the biggest fan of Sony's other villain solo movies, the Venom films, I was actually surprised by how much I actually got into the trailers. I thought both of the big trailers for this movie were actually really freaking awesome. So even with the many delays of this movie, I was actually still pretty hyped for it. And did my hype pay off? Somewhat? Yeah, this movie's all over the place when it comes to quality. Some of it is really good. Then there's the rest of it. All right, so let's get the obvious best thing out of the way. And the most obvious best thing of this movie is probably the most surprising best thing about this movie. The acting. The acting in this movie is pretty freaking good. I know that might seem surprising as Jared Leto has gone through so much hate over the past couple of years, but I did like him in this movie. It's not a fantastic performance, but I believed him as this mad scientist who truly believes that his morals are in the right. He was restrained and his performance was all the better for it. The same cannot be said about Matt Smith in this movie, who is off the rails with his performance, but it is all the more entertaining and better for it. I love Matt Smith as the 11th Doctor, and still to this day, he will always be the Doctor in my eyes, but in this movie, he loves chewing every bit of scenery he can in the second half, and it is all so entertaining, and I loved it. And even with how over the top his performance is, he still manages to be sympathetic at times. And that's because all of the actors, all giving good performances, all have surprisingly really good chemistry with each other. I believed their relationships. And even though we didn't get to see their relationships that much, I think the acting pulled it off and really saved all that. I also really like how dark this movie is. I know the Venom movies have their fans, but I could just never get into them. Mainly because Venom is such a great and dramatic villain, and those movies turned him into a walking meme. Here, the moral greatness of the whole situation feels like it's the forefront of the whole tone of the movie. It's just cool seeing a Marvel villain standalone film that advertises a true anti-hero, and more or less gives us that. And on top of that, I just love the powers in this movie. Morbius at first seems to have all of the standard superpowers. Super strength, super speed, flight. But that is all mixed in with echolocation. And the echolocation in this movie is awesome. It makes everything seem so wavy and otherworldly, and that echolocation effect extends to his other superpowers. So even just the standard stuff like super strength and super speed and flight all have this air of uniqueness to it that comes from the echolocation and how that's filmed. I like so much of this, and I just want to say it's awesome! But I think it might be objectively bad. First of all, the pacing in this movie is awful. You can tell so much is missing from this movie, whether it was all the way back with the script writing phase or whether it was left on the cutting room floor. There is so much cut out from this film and it just has a bad effect on the whole pacing and structure of the film. So many characters have long established relationships with each other that we only know because they tell us about them in a sentence. And the first third of this movie was all over the place. Like it had no idea when the film actually wanted to start. And because of that, throughout the first third of this movie, and even going into the second and third acts, there is just a lot of exposition dumping. 
to fill in the gaps of what happened between scenes. The effects are also really all over the place in terms of quality. Some of it's fine, like the echolocation or when the mutilated face of Morbius isn't moving much, but as the film goes on, the film also gets more and more action heavy. So the flaws and sheer uncanny valley-ness of the effects really start to show, especially in the climax where like the climax of both Venom movies, it's just two darkly dressed blobs fighting each other at night, and it's just really hard to see. Not to mention the fact that this movie had no idea how to end, and it had no idea how to end credit scene. And that's all I'll say about that. I'm so conflicted on my verdict! <laughs> is this what a guilty pleasure is? I mean, a good chunk of it I really did enjoy. The acting from the entire cast was really good, the tone was suitably dark, and the way the echolocation made all of the other superpowers appear was really freaking cool. But the pacing's really rushed, the structure of the film is very choppy, and the effects get progressively worse as the film goes on. I don't know how to feel. The part of me that wants to just turn my brain off says this is a great movie, and the part of me that's an intellectual and wants to study this movie says it's awful, so which side do I listen to? I guess the big deciding question is would I watch this movie again? And honestly, against the majority, I would actually watch this movie again. I'm going to give Morbius a very conflicted B-. minus, Or maybe I'll just watch it again and think it sucks, who knows. Well guys, thank you so much for watching, and let me know in the comments down below, who is your favorite Spider-Man villain? For me, the heart is born. First, we attack his heart. Thank you guys so much for watching, you guys are the best. And don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell icon down below to stay up to date on all things movie, all things TV, all things nerd.